When we are building our applications, we use different architectural approaches to solve our problems. In JavaScript, we have two main design patterns when we want to reuse the code and combine different pieces of the application. And they are inheritance and composition. Inheritance is when you have a base class, like a vehicle, and you inherit its properties and extend them in different classes, like a truck, for example. So this is one concept which can be used in React, but the React team doesn't advise you to do so, as they don't see any valid reasons. Instead, you should use composition. The reason for it is because everything in React is component-based, and combining multiple components and nesting them is easier, and it follows that component pattern. Let's see one example. Code with Sloba. Let's say I have a card component and I want to be able to use this component with different content. Create new file card.js and inside import react. So let's define that component. It will receive props which we can use to customize our card and it will return a div with a class name of card. In my CSS file, I'll already applied some styles for this class. As the content of this card is going to be dynamic, we can display that content using props.children. This means that the parent component just needs to nest their JSX in the card component and export it as default. Let's try it. So in the app component, import the card component. And let's just add a hello paragraph. And as you can see, the JSX code has been injected into the car component. Now we can reuse our car component and display different content inside of it with the use of the composition pattern. So I can just copy paste this card and update the text. And we get the second card. Sometimes we have some special cases and we want to display customized version of our components. That concept is called specialization and it can be achieved with the composition as well. So if you want to have a special black card component, which would mean that a specific component renders a more generic one and it gets configured with props. So create a new component called black card and this component will return a modified card component. Pass the black as type and we can use this attribute to create a new class and apply new styles. It will also return props.children. And in the original car component, embedded into the class name. I already created a class that updates the background and color of this element. Now import the black card into the app component and add a paragraph with hello text. Also we can remove the second card. And there you go, we got the black card as well. So this is how we can use composition in React. Well, that's all for this React video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more React tutorials, click here.